Nope. Heads. Sorry, heads again. Oh no, sorry. The answer was tails. Tails. Dear Tim and Moby, If there's a 50% chance of rain on Saturday and a 25% chance of rain on Sunday, does that mean there's a 75% chance that it will rain all weekend? From Jocelyn. Um, no. This question involves probability. How likely some event is going to happen? In this case, you have two single events, the weather on Saturday and the weather on Sunday. Okay, on Saturday, there's a 50% chance of rain. 50% is equal to one half, so there's a one in two probability that it'll rain that day. And for Sunday, the forecast is predicting a 25% chance of rain. 25% is the same as saying one-fourth, so that's a one in four chance of rain on Sunday. The probability of it raining on Saturday has no effect on the probability of it raining on Sunday. They're independent events. To find the probability of both independent events happening, we multiply the probability of the first event by the probability of the second event. So, the probability of rain on Saturday, one-half, times the probability of rain on Sunday, one-quarter, is equal to one-eighth, or 12.5%. There's a 12.5% chance that it will rain on both Saturday and Sunday. Well, dependent events happen when the outcome of one event has an effect on the outcome of another. Say we've got three paper bags. Two of the bags each contain an apple, and one contains a dirty golf ball. The probability of me ending up with an apple is two-thirds. That's two apples out of three bags. What do you know? I got an apple. We know that one of those remaining bags has a dirty golf ball in it, and the other has an apple in it. The probability that Moby gets an apple is one-half. One apple, two bags. Did you get the apple? Anyway, choosing those bags are dependent events. My choice affected the probability of Moby getting an apple. How likely was it that we'd both choose apples? Well, to calculate that, we take the probability of me choosing an apple, two-thirds, and multiply it by the probability of Moby choosing an apple, or one-half. Two-thirds times one-half equals two-sixths, which reduces to one-third. So there was a 33.3% chance that Moby and I would both get apples. That makes sense when you think about it, because one-half, or 50%, of two-thirds is equal to one-third, or 33.3%. I don't want to trade. Just take the other bag. No, this is my apple. I'm not trying to trick you. Take the bag. You've got a 100% chance of getting an apple. Ah, get away!